Hi, welcome to my channel, it's House of Yola. Today I decided to give myself a manicure for the first time. And so I did a lot of research, watched a lot of YouTube videos, gathered my goodies together in this lovely little caddy. And so in this video, I'm just going to show you the journey of my first manicure. Stay tuned until the end so I can show you the final result and what I learned from giving myself the very first ever manicure, which is part of my 2021 goals for improving my self-care routines. And one of them includes looking after my hands. This is what my hands looked like. I've been having a problem with hangnails, so I bought these things mostly from Wilco's and from Amazon in order to do a manicure. I started off by washing my hands with soap and water, and then I proceeded to use these nail scissors or nail clippers to remove the hangnails and the stubby bits that poke out the sides of my nails. And what a great tool this is. It's never been easier to remove them. I used to use my teeth, which was a really bad habit, but I'm trying my best to fix that now. And then I used the angled nail clippers to get the ones that I couldn't get to. I used the nail file to shape my nails. I prefer short nails, and in fact, this is the longest I've had my nails. And I followed that up with an emery board and just made sure that everything was nice and smooth and just that the edges were not uh, frayed. The next thing was to use the cuticle remover, which is a new to me thing. I've never used cuticle remover before. And what a revelation. I had no idea that uh, it was a good idea to do this. And I used the cuticle pusher that comes in the kit that I bought. And it was quite easy to do. I pushed all of the cuticles right back exactly as I saw in the tutorials. It was a lot easier to do on my non-dominant hand, but never mind. The next thing that I did was to um, nourish my cuticles using the cuticle oil uh, from Cutex. And it was a good practice for using the tiny little nail brush. Then you can see there I massaged them. It was really nice giving some TLC to my fingers. Next step was to use the base coat. I got this Sally Hansen uh, double duty one because it does two things. It does the base coat and the top coat, which for somebody who's new to this for me, I kind of like the things that are multifunctional. I thought that the brush was quite good. I enjoyed this step because it's clear. I didn't feel the pressure of trying to make sure that everything was perfectly located on my nail bed. So that went down quite well. I waited five minutes um, in between before I went on to use this Sally Hansen Instant Dry. And this has got such a wide brush. I was very nervous about using it because the, the brush is incredibly wide. And I tried to do the three stroke mechanism uh, technique that I saw in the tutorials. And it was it was all right. I'm not too sure that you're supposed to be doing it that way the first time around. But I was just trying my best. Um, so. I did two coats in total with about 10 minutes between uh, coat one and it didn't look too bad. Um, after the two coats, I waited another 10 minutes before I then used the top coat again. And by this point, I was beginning to kind of get the hang of it and it looked okay. And after I did that top coat, I probably spent a good half hour just being very careful not to smudge it because I really didn't want to get any uh, smudging on the nails after putting in all of this effort. So it was really interesting doing a manicure for <laughs> the very first time, especially the uh, at home manicure, but I am quite pleased with the results. I think that my hands look respectable. One side is definitely a lot better than the other side. So it turns out my left hand is very weak and pretty rubbish at painting stuff on, but hopefully with time that will improve. But I do feel like I look like a grown up now with my nails being looked after. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to the next time that I try this. I did find that I don't like the smell of this. It's got a really um, unpleasant smell, quite MCD didn't like it so I'll probably look for something that is different 
this, the brush was too wide. I found it very difficult to control with this particular brush. So next time I'm not going to use that one. I'll see if I can find something else to try. Base coat and top coats are amazing. But yeah, <laughs> there we go. So uh, yes, yeah, so that's my uh, the first goal of 2021 that I am implementing this year is learning how to keep my nails in tip top condition so that my hands can look a little bit more grown up and a little bit more um, <laughs> decent, which uh, overall is part of my um, I'm, I'm learning to be a grown up uh, sort of thing. It all started with lipstick in 2019 when I started putting on lipstick and then learning how to put makeup on. And it's now led to hands. But yeah, overall, really fantastic. I'm going to link down below some of the tutorials that I found quite handy and useful if you want to have a look at that. In the meantime, thanks so much for watching. Uh, stay safe and keep well. Bye.